Hello, my digital nomads. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to send a fax for free within the U.S. and Canada. This is great for digital nomads who don't reside in Canada and the U.S. and don't have a fax machine. You're probably wondering why would you need to send a fax in today's day and age? I'll tell you <laughs> who. If you have to deal with any kind of government agency or bureaucracy, a lot of hospitals, government offices still require you to send them a fax. And honestly, I, when I had to deal with the, I had to deal with an issue with a bank and I had to send basically the information that I said, I, I had to forward information I sent to the bank to another government agency that oversees all these other banks and they required a fax machine. I, I, it was ridiculous. It's either that or sending them through snail mail. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and, and look up what a fax machine is. And there's, there's no way I can get one. So I was wondering if I can go ahead and send it for free. So this is the site right here. Now there are caveats to this and I want you to understand it clearly. Yes, it's free. It's not clickbait, but there's a limit. There's a, there's a small cap. You can only send three. Okay, three attachments or total pages. That's it. Free. And then if you want to go ahead and send up to 25 pages, which is what I ended up doing, it's only a few dollars. And you're wondering, oh, no, it's like about two, two or three dollars. I can't remember exactly. Okay. But you're probably wondering, oh, I got to pay. Look, I'll tell you what, it's a lot cheaper than having to buy a fax machine and then having to learn how to use the thing and then sending it just for that. So I gladly paid, uh, in my case, I used a combination of free. And, and then I, and then as the uh, investigation and correspondence got more serious, I had to send more attachments and more proof. And it, it, it pushed me into the almost free, which is like $2. And you know what? Two dollars. I was happy to send. <laughs> I was happy to give my money to them, so I didn't have to buy a fax machine, and it worked. Now, how will this work? Basically, let me show you how this works. You enter your your name here, your email address here, and then your phone number here, and then for the receiver, you enter their company, their name or company uh, for both. Right, and then they'll have a fax number, and you send it to here. You put it in here, and then all you have to do is you cut and paste the, the text in here, or you can send it as, a, as an attachment, either one. And you enter the code. Now, what happens afterwards is they'll they'll send you an email letting you know whether or not uh, you received it, all right, whether or not it went through. It normally takes within five minutes. Now, that's the part you have to you have to look out for because. Out of the four messages that I sent, one of them didn't go through, and it was because the fax machine wasn't on. <laughs> right? And the reason why you have to check for that is this is not exactly email. right? This doesn't happen instantaneously. What happens on the other side is they have to basically receive the document or receive the information that, that you send them, and then they have to print, like kind of print it out. All right, so that, that, that's the, the fax machine for you. And that printing might take anywhere between five minutes to half an hour. For me, it only took five minutes, but your mileage may vary. All right, and then the good thing I like, though, is that they'll have a confirmation that the message went through. So if anything happens, let's say you, you sent it to the government agency, and, and, and most government agencies in the U.S. tend to lose things uh, from my personal experience, right? So at, le at least three times. So you have proof on your end. Hey, I sent it to you from this time. It have confirmation that it went through. What's going on? So it, it adds another layer of protection on your end, especially if you have to deal with government bureaucracy or any kind of bank bureaucracy. You have confirm confirmation that you sent it. Always a good thing. And then on top of that, you have a receipt for your payment if you so happen to choose if you pay through it. Pay with PayPal. Now, what I like is when I paid with PayPal, I also had a receipt. So that also added another layer of proof that I, I sent it to the bank. All right. So this is good for maybe sending it to a senator, a governor, a congressman, branches of the government, branches of the bank. Those are the type of people that still use fax machines. All right. And I, I wanted you to save a lot of headache, a lot of 
problems just because just thinking, oh my gosh, I got to send a fax. What is a fax machine? Then I got to buy a fax machine and then I got to learn how to use it. No, this cuts all of those problems out. You, you simply just, it's almost as easy as typing an email. You just input the data in, you attach what you need, you send it, you wait for the confirmation receipt. And then from there, uh, you're good to go, right? Or, or in, in, in this case, you might have to pay if you if it goes over the the free limit. But uh, yeah, this is just for anyone who's residing overseas, like myself, and who who needs to deal with the government bureaucracy back in your country. And you, you got to use a fax machine. <laughs> Don't buy one. Just simply use this. It's a lot quicker, a lot cheaper, and more mobile. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.